Well, hello there, boys and girls. It's me, Contaminator, here. As you lovely MC for the <laughs> afternoon, I, as I'm stating, I never tell a lie. We have Moth Royalty here today, and as you can see, as part of the gate and with the new installations that we're releasing, this is larva. Not just any larva I've been harvesting, but the larva of a moth queen. Yes, the moth mother, mother of moths. We have moth royalty here today, and I am been cleaning like a freak and to get everything quite well um, for this guest, and she's in the back somewhere. But she's getting ready now, and um, well, uh, I wanted to shed some light on some of the fake folklore creatures of the world because, honestly, like, we're taught that these things are all fables and things like that, and you may not see them, they're hidden from the human eye, but they're definitely in existence. Yeah, how do you think that trees regrow without the pollution? How do you think things get repaired? And little, little feelings of warmth and, and, and things. Not just angels exist, but fae. The fae are very real. And not just a very, very, very rare chance that you get. So, if you have the honor of seeing this, I really do, really do honor you. Now let's, um, oh, oh, Theandra, oh, you're radiant as ever. Oh, won't you sit down and talk to our guest, please, Theandra? You've taken out the liking to my larva. <laughs> yes. But something very sad has happened to my king. It seems that he has gotten swatted. I've been traveling far and wide, as the contaminator has been harvesting my larva for me, and they look just as ready as ever. But now that I finally hold my babies once more, it seems they're about ready to go. And I've been looking for a king, yes, I've been looking for a new king moth, and when you Swat a moth! You swat a moth! You have no idea what you're swatting. We were here in other realms before you. <laughs> you could be swatting a prince. Swatting a prince. <laughs> yes, I am queen, mother. Miss Contaminator, my luck run dry. I went all the way to the King of Elderberries to be courted. And he, he had, he had one antler that tried to take me as his queen with the one antler he has. It was that. Oh no. Them, how embarrassing. I'm not used to this type of furniture here. This physical realm. I don't know how you stay here. I know you're committed to your children. <laughs> Do they even call you queen anymore? <laughs> 